is up. I'm here in old San Juan Rico in front of El Moro Castle. And I just finished the 14 day detox suit gut protocol and I feel phenomenal, fantastic. I have not had more clarity of mind in a long time. It actually feels like the monkey mind that I might have had every morning, this gut queasiness, all this stuff is a thing of the past. And in fact, the mind, when it's on your side, is actually your biggest ally. In the mornings, my mind would literally be just stressed out immediately trying to put out fires, thinking about all the shit that I have to do. But after reaching the halfway point, my mind was telling me, oh, it'd be fun to do these things. Oh, observe and appreciate these things. It would just be a completely different headspace that would allow me to be more joy, relaxedness, fun, and appreciation, and these emotions that were like ready to go tackle even the hardest things. So this like brings me to a message that I want to share that I noticed with a lot of guys. A lot of guys, like older, younger version of myself, you know, so hungry for the result, would immediately just look at symptoms and just think, what is the fucking problem? And a lot of times we can just think about what can solve the symptoms, which would be a bandage. But in actuality, it doesn't always solve the root cause. And that talks about the importance of diagnosing things correctly. Most of the time, it, like the things that people come up with that I see guys do and that just fucks them over a long run is they immediately jump to why they're inadequate and they just start seeing all the faults and then they start making assumptions. They start making assumptions about why they're not worthy or why they're trash and like why they're not good enough or not deserving. But the only evidence they have in their mind of that is just comparison traps. And the common thing that people do is they compare themselves unfairly to the highest paradigms of examples out there. They're like, oh, I'm not some billionaire. I'm not some giga chad. I'm not, you know, a cat, like a Don Juan. I'm not Iron Man, playboy, billionaire, philanthropist, genius. And those are all ideals to strive for but an unfair comparison because you're comparing yourself to multiple different peoples who are at the highest point of these different areas. And it would take a lifetime to achieve any one of these different areas, let alone all of them. So you got to drop that shit and misdiagnosing things too. People are like, Oh, I, I don't get girls cause I'm not rich. Like where the fuck did you hear that idea? Yeah. Money is an, like, an amplifier, but it's not the end all be all like, if that was the case, every billionaire would have like multiple Victoria's Secret supermodels. You know, oh, it's because I don't have a six pack. Well, that might not be the root cause. It's probably not helping you. But the quality of having humor or like edginess or like, like an unwavering belief in oneself and not giving a fuck and all these other things are superiorly more attractive. But then like people will come up with whatever reasons to just not like put themselves out there. It's to actually un like continue to wear a mask and hide underneath our own insecurities and flaws. So that's what I want to talk about, which is a lot of times when people are diagnosing things, they're just like looking at the surface level shit and then they're just putting perfume on a pig which is it doesn't solve the problem a lot of the times the root problem is your game right how you're coming across how you see the world your internals are a reflection of your external or sorry your external is a reflection of your internal it's like if you have this viewpoint in the world that everyone's out to get you and that you have to fear for your life and you're in fight or flight because of fear of rejection, you're going to see every threat even when there isn't one. So even when a person is receptive to you, even when a girl is like into you or wants to give you her number, you're going to see all those things as either just fake or, you know, accident. There's no winning this game. So 
just like I talked about healing the gut to solve the root issue of a lot of the other problems that I was solving, this is the way to solve the root issue for a lot of people's games. Making peace with your past, resolving the traumas, seeing the world in a different light, working on your inner game. That is so huge. And like, I don't know any other better way than to go out, deal with it head on, feel the feelings that you feel, giving yourself the time and space to process them and figure out why you feel these things. And just like continually leaning in more and more into the feelings themselves until you can get to the other side of the discomfort. It's like filming yourself. The first time you watch yourself, you hear your voice, you're like, oh, I don't like this. This is so weird. This is awkward. I couldn't even stand to look at myself when I saw my film. Now I'm just like, okay, whatever. I'm used to it. But it was just like this heightened sense of ego and sense of perfection that just made me feel like I'm my own shit. And that's what's going to happen when you lean into your own darkness, when you listen to your own interactions, when you face your fears and vulnerabilities, you make them impervious. Or so you make yourself impervious to them. They're no longer going to be things that like get the best of you. So I want to share that message with you today. Look at the root cause of things, the problems that are existing in your life, not just the surface level. Dig multiple levels deep. Triangulate with some friends, some people who actually know you really well, because you might be dead set that it was one thing, but then these other people who know you and have observed you over time and time again can give you things that clarify and actually point you in the right direction. So you're not like spinning your wheels, doing the same shit, working on the same things that don't actually move the needle. You actually get to work on things head on that then render these things useless, powerless over you, and then you can move on with your life in the shortest and fastest possible way and actually start enjoying it. Have fun going out. Have fun living life. Have a fun reality because your internals are so good and so will your external. On that note, peace out.